stature goes beyond their athletic accomplishments. Individuals of mythic proportion, Babe Ruth, Muhammad Ali, Pele. Historically, it may be too soon to place Julius Irving in this august company, but to his fans, Dr. J is a living legend. In fact, in much the same way Jackie Robinson's heroic efforts created baseball fans in the late 40s, Julius Irving's style and grace has created basketball fans across the country. That's why it's not so surprising to hear remarks like these before game six, even in Los Angeles. I think the Lakers are probably the best team around, but I'm rooting for Dr. J. Dr. J deserves to be a world champion more than any athlete in the world. Julius Irving is the best forward I've ever seen play the game of basketball. Julius Irving's awesome presence has graced professional basketball for 11 years now, six in the NBA. Many stylish performers have entertained NBA fans, but Julius is in a class by himself. This is Irving's third appearance in an NBA World Championship Series. In this league, getting to the finals even once is tough enough. At 32, Dr. J may not have many chances left. Cunningham, who played until he was 34, knows what makes aging veterans like Irving and Jabbar continue to be great. You know, they have this great inner drive. I think that's why they're still playing. You know, it's not the physical things that go in players when they reach a certain age. It's the mental aspect of the game that's the toughest part, being able to get yourself prepared to play and still having that love and enjoyment of playing. Late in game six, Irving's performance has kept Philly within striking distance. With less than a quarter between the Sixers and summer vacation, Philly launches one last attempt at taking the series home. Tony's clutch jumper cuts the margin to just three. In the time remaining, Pat Riley will live several lifetimes. There's only one number to call when the Lakers need a basket, Kareem's. Kareem can't hit, but he comes up with a big rebound and throws up a prayer. With game momentum hanging in the balance, Kareem's second effort finally drops through. Fouled on the play, his free throws give L.A. a much more comfortable six-point advantage. Jamal Wilkes' breakaway gives the Lakers a little insurance. The margin is eight, and the 76ers will not threaten again. The Lakers are about to become champions for the second time in three years. If history calls this 12 and 2 playoff team one of the best of all time, the Lakers deserve it. And the Sixers, they too had played like champions. They had shown as much heart in defeat as the Lakers had in victory. As one writer noted, they never cracked, they just ran out of time. For the Lakers, this is sweet and joyful redemption. They had waited two years to prove they were still the best in the world. Number one again. <laughs>